Yeah. Use your poison jar. Oh, pity. I've got some arsenic chilling just for you. Second thought, scrub the drink. I've got better places to be. Let's face it, there's no shortage of it. Suits me fine. This is a family pub. Home wreckers are bad for trade. Well, it was all very straightforward. He was committed for trial and then remanded in custody. So he didn't get bailed, then? No, he needs to go to the Crown Court for that. Though in the circumstances, it's unlikely they'd agree. Um, I'm going to visit Peter this afternoon. Is there any messages you want passing on? No. Not from me. Not one he'd want to hear anyway. Uh, yeah, well, I'll just tell him that uh, I'm thinking of him. Right. Do you think she'll be so keen to visit him in six months' time? No, nah, she'll have moved on to somebody else's husband by then. It left to you. Not that Peter deserves your loyalty. Well, it's the least I owe him. If I'd been any kind of a father... Oh, come on, Ken. We all tried to help him. But time after time, he threw it back in our faces. He does what suits Peter Barlow, and he always will. Uh, Simon. Blissfully ignorant for now. <laughs> well, he needs to be told, because it's already in the papers. They haven't mentioned Peter by name, but uh, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, I know. Do you know what I feel like going to that prison, dumping Simon on his lap and saying, you explain. You make sense of all this to your little boy. Uh, you don't have to do it on your own. I'll come round tonight. Thanks. I'm dreading it, to be honest. I mean, why should it be left to us, Ken? Because we love Simon. And there's no one else. Hmm? What about Carla? His would-be mother. Where's she? Nowhere to be flaming seen. Do you know what? I will never forgive them for putting me in this situation. Never. You're wasting your time. You what? You're wasting your time. It's closed. It's a bookies on Tower Street, if you want to bet. Oh, no, I'm not for a bet. I wondered if the owner was about. Peter Barlow? Who wants to know? A uh, mate of his, Howard. Oh, from the support group. Oh, you know him? Yeah. Yeah, I know him. Does he seem all right? Only last time I saw him, we had a bit of a set to him. Oh, you're in the rest of the world. He turned up at my house, three sheets of the wind, Monday before last. Anyway, I tried settling him down, but he was in no sorry, mood to... Sorry, sorry, when did you say? Monday before last. I was hoping he was going to ring and apologise, but as I was passing, I thought, no point letting things fester. At what time did he turn up at yours, then? Uh, must have been 11 thereabouts. Like I say, I tried to keep him there, sober him up, but he was giving us a mouthful, and then he staggered off at 2 in the morning. Howard knows Peter from the support group. Yeah, he was worried about him. They'd had a row. Oh, well, I suppose it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, yeah, it matters. Turns out Peter was round at Howard's place the night Frank was killed. What? It looks like Peter's got an alibi. So has Howard gone to the police, then? No, I wouldn't have thought so. Oh, well, surely when you told him that Peter was on trial... I told him that Peter was away and that I'd pass on the message when I speak to him, which I will. Though I don't really see us speaking any time soon. Oh, Leanne, I know Peter's hurt you, but no, you can't no, do no, this. No, this is nothing to do with what he's done to me. I'm over that. But he's lied to save Carla's neck, it's obvious. He's condemned himself to years inside. He's not given a single thought to Simon. I'm sure it's not Well, that I am sure that it is. <sighs> he's abandoned his own son for the sake of that cow. Well, so be it. He's made his bed and he can flame him rot in it as far as I'm concerned. I agree. What Peter's done is stupid, selfish, cruel even. But he's not a murderer. You've got to go to the police. Uh, I haven't got to do anything. Howard will come forward when he sees Peter's name in the papers. Well, they haven't released Peter's name yet. Uh, and when they do, what if he doesn't see it? What if he doesn't connect the night of the murder with the night Peter was oh, round his house? Oh, come on. Of course he will. Well, he might not. Even if he does, heaven knows when that might be, how long Peter will have to wait. Yeah, well, the longer the better, as far as I'm concerned. It's the least he deserves. Is it? You reckon that Peter lied to save Carla? If you keep your mouth shut, he's won. Carla gets off scot-free. Think about it. No. I'll leave the thinking to them, thanks. Him inside, regretting what a fool he's been. And her, realising what she's costing, that's punishment enough in my book. Does Simon deserve punishment? We'll be all right. He will be. You won't be the one being teased in the school playground, being reminded every day of your life that your father is a murderer. I know Peter broke your heart, sweetheart. But you really want to see Simon suffering as well, knowing you could have prevented it. 
Listen, have you seen me what? Wallet. How do you know? Casino rank. You found it there. Oh, no. What did Stella say? Nothing. I answered the phone. I didn't think you would appreciate me mentioning it to her. <sighs> Sneer. I could kiss you. That would definitely put her nose out of joint. <laughs> <laughs> no. Stella had heard the word casino. She'd have been all over us like a rash. Why is that, then? Oh, she doesn't like me enjoying myself. She's always fretting about me in activity. I've told her. She'll give herself frown lines. You remind me of someone I know. He doesn't know what buttons are for either. <laughs> frightened I'll catch a cold. Frightened you catch something. Well, I'm not frightened, but Stella might be. No, 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 no. I'm a good lad, me. <laughs> anyway, you'd better go and pick up my wallet. Hey! You fancy tagging along? To the casino? Oh, we had a good laugh the other night. Yeah, it was good. Tell you what, you and me lucky charm and all. How about it? You're finishing a bit, don't you? Yeah, but I'm not much of a gambler. Oh, pity. Right, well, I'll see ya. Bye. Good luck. Oh, we're out, bit of lemon. I'll pop down and get some. No, you can't go lumping crates around. Carl can get off his backside for a change. Carl! He's just nipped out. Oh, I didn't say. Where's he gone? A bit of business in town. Oh, yeah, it'll be business all right. A merger between his laughing gear and six or seven pints. Once his mates get supping, there's no stopping him. I'll go and get those mixes. All right, then. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. You feeling any better? No, not really. How could I? Ken's waiting in the back. I haven't told him anything. Right, well, I'll go and point my his misery then. Hiya. You all right? No, oh, dreadful, to be honest. I spent the afternoon searching for words to soften the blow without giving him false hope. And they don't exist. Well, luckily, we don't need them. Simon knows. There's nothing for him to know, not anymore. I've just been down to the police station. What's going on, Leanne? Oh, I can't promise to tell you that, Ken, but what I can tell you is Peter's innocent. What? I bumped into a friend of his from the support group. Turns out he was with him the night of Frank's murder. He didn't even know Peter had been arrested anyway. I took him down to the police station, he filled in a statement and... But I don't understand. If Peter confessed, why would he do that? Because if... the same reason he trashed our marriage, Ken. For Carla, to take the heat off her. But Simon... Oh, what about him? Do you think he gave him a second thought? What's a little boy next to the great Weatherfield love affair? Just another bit of collateral damage. Oi! You pulled some stunts in your time, but this is as low as it gets. Hold on. I didn't do it. That's why they've let yes, me Yes, I know you didn't do it. I know. I would have had more respect for you if you had. Leanne took your friend to the police station, and it's thanks to her Come you've on, been your chips are getting cold. do that? What you've done is almost worse than murder. Confessing like that, knowing what it would mean for Simon. How could you do it, Peter? How could you turn your back on him? I couldn't remember what happened that <sighs> night. No, I... don't insult our intelligence. At least have the courage to face up to your decision. You were willing to abandon your son for the sake of your lover. Yeah, well, that must be in the genes, eh? Don't you dare. Have you heard yourself? It's always somebody else's fault, innit? Do you know what? You make me sick to the stomach. I can't even better look at you. God, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, Pete. I really, really don't want to hear this. I'm glad that you're innocent, but beyond that, disappointment doesn't begin to cover how I feel. 